A Georgia police department this morning is investigating an officer caught on video making a disturbing statement. We only kill black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? All the video. The Cobb County police officer who made the controversial comments to a woman during a traffic stop says he will retire, but his police chief wants to start the process to fire him. And Marie Green is here with the video that could cost the veteran officer his career. And Marie, good morning. Good morning, Vlad. Well, the dash cam video that has just been released shows a traffic stop from July of last year. The woman in the video, who is white, told Lieutenant Greg Abbott that she was afraid to reach for her cell phone. And the officer's response is not reassuring. All the videos you've seen, have you seen white people? During a traffic stop, Lieutenant Greg Abbott can be heard telling a woman that she needs to call the person who was picking her up because she's being arrested and taken to jail. Use your phone. It's in your lap right there. I just don't want to put my hands down. I'm really sorry. I'm just... It's really strong. No, no, no. I've just seen way too many videos of problems. But you're not black. Remember, we only kill black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? Abbott's lawyer said in a statement that the 27-year police veteran was attempting to de-escalate the situation after the woman said she was afraid to retrieve her cell phone. He said Abbott's comments must be observed in their totality to understand their context. No matter what context you try to take those comments in, uh, the statements were inexcusable and inappropriate. Yesterday, Police Chief Mike Register, who was not chief at the time the video was taken, said the department has opened an internal investigation. I don't know what's in his heart, but I certainly know what came out of his mouth. CBS law enforcement expert Paul Violas says that the woman was clearly in fear and Abbott's comments were out of bounds. If you're really concerned about officer safety, ask her to step out of the vehicle, step back, ask her to step in front of the car, retrieve what you want underneath the seat, and then, and then give it to her. But you certainly don't do that. The incident occurred four days after the death of Philando Castile, who was shot five times by a Minnesota police officer in a St. Paul suburb. Don't pull it off. Viola says statements like Abbott's put up a wall between police and the community. We're in a society today where police and community are trying to mend, and that type of behavior is going to do nothing but cause problems across the board. Abbott is currently off the department payroll and has been notified of his proposed termination. As a supervisor and lieutenant, Abbott was in charge of reviewing the dash cam videos for his unit, which raised the questions about why the video is just now coming to light. Maurice. And Marie, yeah. thanks so much. A lot You've of got to questions there. Training yeah. suggests a lot of other ways to diffuse a situation, clearly. Yeah, but what I don't get is how watching it in its totality would make that more understandable. It seems right. the more you hear, the worse it actually gets. The what chief else? was right. It's what came out of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, what else is there to hear?